Today I was thinking about one of my favorite all-time quotes. Um, Marianne Williamson in her book, Return to Love, said this, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. There are times in this world that you will feel inadequate. There are times that you will feel afraid. The biggest thing I can tell you is sometimes it's because you are afraid of you. You're afraid of what you're truly capable of. You have got to go take it and go out and slay your dragons. You've got to go out and inoculate yourself from those fears. As you do so, you will become powerful beyond measure. As you focus on your abilities to increase and remember that God has got your back and he will, he will magnify that increase if you're doing it right. Remember that everything that you do is empowered by the grace of God. You have so much power in you because we are literally children of the most powerful being in the universe. And as we let our own light shine, other people will get that same inkling. They want to drive towards um, that same success. We, as human beings, were wired for greatness. We have the divinity inside of us. And as we let that divinity grow, it becomes better and better. One thing I can caution you on is beware of pride. As you become better, help other people become better. Um, there, was a, there was a speaker named Gary Cornegay. He's a, he's a Primerica Senior National Sales Director. Um, the guy is legendary with his ability to speak and to motivate people. Um, he used to say something really funny. He said, he would talk about, you know, when people start talking about how much money they make, he says, you know what, stop saying I. He said, can you make somebody else get paid? He says, if you haven't helped somebody else get paid, you're not that good. So I really like that philosophy. What is it now that you have, you know, started to become successful and you're starting to reach that summit and you've set records, you've made personal income records, you've made trips and you've done all of these different things. What have you done to help someone else achieve the same? I think that the biggest thing that we need to do as human beings is give back. As we become successful, we need to give back to our communities. There's John D. Rockefeller, he, he wrote a book, uh, I believe it's called The Gospel of Wealth, but he talks about in his book how you need to create your life in building that wealth and becoming extremely successful. He said, but the, at the end of the day, you have to distribute that and help people um, in you know poor countries and things like that, help people that are struggling. So number one, we gotta be financially successful. That's, that's important. Uh, people say, you know what, Josh, money is not all that important. Um, yeah, but it's right up there with oxygen. You know, the, people say silly things like, well, love is more important than money and I'd rather be happy than rich. Have you ever tried paying your bills with love? Have you ever walked out of the bank and tried to deposit some love in your bank account? People would look like you are absolutely crazy at you if you tried to do that. Money is extremely valuable in its sphere, and it's extremely invaluable, or it's extremely unvalued in its outside of its sphere. So if you have something that can be fixed with money, that's that's important. You have to pay your rent, you have to pay your mortgage, you have to pay, you know, kids' education expenses, you have to pay for food. Um, you know, there's that quote in the Bible that people misquote all the, t all the time that they say the, that money is the root of all evil. It does not say that. Go look it up. It says the love 
of money is the root of all evil. If you put all of your focus and all of your love into money, yeah, you're going to be down a really bad path. Um, but money in and of itself is not evil. If it was, churches ask for money, right? All the time. They ask for donations. You have every charitable organization on the planet asks for financial donations. Um, you can serve, you can do all that with your time. Um, I had a friend that used to say, you know, if you have someone that has passed away, it's, it's really good to be there for them and, and give them a hug and, and all that. But I'll tell you something else, a hug with a big fat check that helps them, you know, get over their financial problems while they lost their spouse or whatever, that goes a lot further than just a hug. So become financially successful. Be able to be the person that can get out and, and write those checks. So number one, you got to be financially successful. Number two, go out and be charitable. Number three, before you're even financially successful, donate to charities. The, the wealthiest people on the planet, they talked about some of the ways that they became wealthy and all of them talk about giving back to their communities, whether it's you know donating to their church or donating to a humanitarian place. Go out and donate. Donate some of your time. Donate financial. Um, you get back what you give. Guys, go out there today and do it. Get out and become successful. Do everything that you can do to be successful. Now, I'm not talking just about money. I'm talking about, number one, yeah, be financially successful. Be successful in your marriage. Be successful with your children. Be successful in your church. If you're, if you're being educated in any way, shape, or form, you should be, by the way. Be listening to audiobooks, uh, watching programs that help expand your mind. If you're being educated, be successful. Anything you do, you've got to be successful. Go out there and get it, guys. Have a great day.